my way. What are you doing? Warning you, keep back. Come on, think this through. Jason, do something! Shut up, shut up! Tell us, Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. You knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like Decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Oscar doesn't want this. He died helping us all survive. He wouldn't want her dead. Had he known, though! Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner... Ah, I... shut it! Is that what this is all about? She put you in danger? You're acting out of vendetta here? Oh, don't turn this around on me. I'm doing this for Decaf and Vargas. What, what is all this? She's a liar. How can you deny that? Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us. I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes. I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it. That's just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen, and now we're all suffering for it. Still. Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc, let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's m my fault. There. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got it. You just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. Look, we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done, agreed? Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah, are you ready? This is not the time for grieving. We have to move. Maybe we should... She's right. Did you find something? No. Nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. 
We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Oh no. They're coming through the vent! Going past the door. Terry, <laughs> get that crate open. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll find that something. I know! No. Which way, Laura? I don't know where we are anymore. We we need to head towards the north. It's a junction box. Which lines go toward the The staff village is inland. That's Mon the wrong people, way. they're still after us. The desalination plant. That's where the marine exhibit is. Look, follow the red conduit. Wait, the condo's gone. No, 
Don't stop! Wait! Those are water mains! Go! Follow them! Which way, Laura? I don't know, Jerry. We must be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we head, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes, yes, okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. Okay, these symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does that help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. There's a ladder on the right, and on the far wall at the end. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. There's a set of water tanks partway down the corridor on the right. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. What should I be looking for, Doc? Large pipes, electrical boxes, tanks, ladders. Oh, even the direction of the corridor helps. Just keep looking. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. down the corridors. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. What do you think, Jess? This one? Sure. I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. 
I'll circle this one as a candidate. Okay, Laura. I hope you're right. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Okay, these symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does it help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. Okay, these symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks, and these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does that help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. What is it? down there i have to go find her what? back down there with those monsters no jerry she needs you safe jess is a strong and resourceful girl she's doing like we are doing surviving you can't know that i won't leave her to those animals jerry look at me if we go back down there we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder the others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow we know where they're going the marine exhibit that's where laura would take her and yoder is with them oh god if we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? 
I don't know. I don't even know where we are. I'll figure out where we are. Sorkin was following water mains. Where would they go? Most of the water is piped in from a lagoon to the north. Lagoon. I know this place. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Por el amor de Dios. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. InGen has changed it so much. I don't know what your relationship to InGen or this island is, but we have little time. You think I do not know this, Jerry? I'm doing my best to help you and your daughter. You're right. I'm sorry. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family. Everyone. My whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But... When Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression, so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit, so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. Spared no expense. Hammond. The man who made all this. He runs InGen. It's something he always says. He'll spend whatever it takes to make the park a success. So, he spent it all on the dinosaurs. Not on my people. I don't want to seem indifferent, but I really need to find Jess. <laughs> You're right. I'm not always so, uh, como se dice, uh, talkative. Fine. Let's get moving then. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Shh. Did you guess Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern-day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. 